Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video we're gonna learn how to install the latest version of NetBeans for PHP on Windows. Now the installation of NetBeans itself is a very straightforward process, however, we're also going to set up NetBeans so that the code looks really good, just like it does in all my videos. And we're gonna accomplish that by importing custom code coloring themes that I've created, and we're also gonna install a plugin which changes the colors of NetBeans interface, and it's going to match up really well with a dark color coding theme so that the whole thing will end up looking really good, um, making it pleasant to look at your code as you're working. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to netbeans.org and we're gonna click on this download button to download NetBeans ID 8.2 and we're gonna get this page which will have all these uh, NetBeans IDE download bundles. And uh, the one that we're interested in right now is PHP. And uh, it also includes HTML5 and JavaScript. And um, you guys can install all the other packs individually from the plugins options later on. So no worries on missing out on any of these other technologies if you're going to need them later on. And it also gives you an option up here to choose the ID language and platform. And I'm just gonna leave it at uh, default for English and Windows, but you can choose whatever your preferences are. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the download x64 and make sure uh, if you have Windows 32-bit, you choose the x86 option. So I'm gonna choose the x64 for 64-bit Windows and the download is going to start. And it's just gonna take a little bit of time to download this. It's 111 megabytes. I'm just gonna wait here until it finishes downloading. And once it's finished downloading, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and open the file. Hit yes. And then the NetBeans IDE installation will proceed. And this is actually gonna take some time, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. And uh, once this process is completed, I'm gonna resume recording. So I'm gonna hit next, accept, next, and check for updates, install. And this is the part where it's gonna take some time, so right now I'm gonna pause the video and resume later. All right, so now that we're done installing AdBeans, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it look beautiful so you can actually enjoy writing and looking at your code. So I'm gonna go ahead and run NetBeans. And the first thing I'm gonna do is uncheck this uh, show and startup box to get rid of the startup page. I'm gonna close the startup page and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install a theme called Darkula and we're gonna do that by going to Tools, Plugins, click on the Available Plugins tab and type Darkula and um, you're gonna see this Darkulan plugin here. I'm gonna check this box and click install. And this is going to install Darkula interface. Gonna click continue. And at this point, we wanna restart the IDE. So click finish. And it's just gonna reload NetBeans and update it with uh, our Darkula interface. And as you can see, we now have we now have this uh, dark interface. But in my case, the font looks really small, so I'm gonna adjust it by going to Tools, Options, Appearance, go to Darkula Look and Feel, and here is where we can override the default font. So I'm gonna choose uh, 24. Click OK, Apply, and OK again. And at this point, I need to restart the IDE once again. 
so that the changes can take effect. And it's not necessarily that you guys have to do this. I just have a really large monitor and uh, that's why I need to adjust the font settings. So as you can see now, it looks really good. And now um, we're gonna go ahead and import a custom Clever Techie themes, which you guys can download from the description of this video. So go ahead and do so if you haven't. And it's just a zip file which contains all the fonts and color settings. Okay, so in order for us to make our, our, our code look beautiful, we're gonna go to Tools, Options, click on Fonts and Colors, click Import, and I'm gonna hit Browse to navigate to uh, wh where I have my Clever Techie Themes file. In my case, it's located on C, localhost, themes, and it's called clever techie themes .zip. Hit OK. And uh, you want to make sure all these uh, are checked, including editor, formatting, fonts, and colors. Click OK. The application will restart. Yes. And now it's just going to hang a little bit. Wait until it uh, reconfigures all the settings. And then it will automatically restart, and we'll have uh, our, all of our all of our co color coding. Now what I'm gonna do is open up a random PHP file I have. So I'm gonna go to File, Open File. I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to my Apache root directory, which is under C localhost. I'm gonna open up a PHP folder here, and I have a shopping cart code that I've created in the earlier video. So I'm gonna open up the index file. And uh, here's all the code uh, for the shopping cart. Now you guys can see above here is a JavaScript file, uh, which is just an example of a random JavaScript. So you guys can see what the actual colors look like. And uh, below is a PHP code. So you can see how that looks like. It's got all the comments and uh, you can see the functions and variables and uh, what the numbers look like, integers, and etc. And uh, I made sure that the highlighting on the brackets um, looks nice, so you can you can see uh, where the brackets are being opened and where they're being closed. And uh, and when you select the text, you can see that it's got like this uh, dark blue color, which I really like. And uh, below here is uh, all the HTML. So I also made sure that HTML has got all, all the proper color coding and it goes and matches uh, really well when, when you mix it up with PHP. Uh, just like you see here with the PHP tags inserted inside the HTML. So the attributes have a uh, yellow color, the HTML tags have uh, uh, light green and uh, and the values inside of a of a class are blue. And uh, in my opinion, this uh, is <laughs> basically it's the best uh, color coding theme that exists uh, on the internet. And it actually took me a long time to pick the, just the right colors and um, and uh, settle with the right font as well. So I hope you guys like this theme and. Uh, if you prefer a light theme, I also have uh, two other light themes I've created. So we can go to Tools, Options, and go to Fonts and Colors. And under the Profile, instead of Dark Effect, we can choose um, Lego, Apply. And this is just the default PHP color scheme that I've created um, by looking at the PHP manual and uh, what kind of color coding they use so I try to match it up exactly how they have it and in, in my opinion this is a really good uh, light theme. Another one I have is uh, called You Are an Army Now which is another pleasant light theme to look at and uh, I especially like the, the highlighting on this one of the brackets it's very easy to see and uh, also the selection of all the code so if you guys prefer the light version, you can also go ahead and go to Tools Options and you can um, select the light 
appearance instead of the dark yellow so that it matches with the, your light color coding theme. I'm just gonna reset it back to dark effect because I like to I like this uh, color coding theme the most. And um, and that's it for this video. Please like and share, and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll be making more videos on NetBeans soon because it's by far the best ID for programming in my opinion, especially for PHP. And it has a lot of amazing features that we'll be covering that will optimize our programming efforts, uh, making it faster, easier, and a lot more efficient. I'll see you guys next time. Clever Ticky out.